I am back on the highway, Trans-Canada Highway 1, heading east, this time towards the city of Kenora, Ontario, in the heart of the Lake of the Woods region. So this would be geographically directly north of the state of Minnesota, so it is definitely a heavily forested area uh, with tons of lakes. We're talking literally hundreds of thousands of lakes in this part of Canada. I still have about one hour before I reach Kenora. I'll be at the Manitoba Ontario border here within the next 20 minutes or so. I'm going to pass by the beautiful community of Falcon Lake before I get there. I am definitely looking forward to spending some time in the Canadian wilderness over the next few days and exploring the northwestern corner of the province of Ontario. From Winnipeg, it was a straightforward two-hour drive east on the Trans-Canada Highway to Ontario's Lake of the Woods region. My ultimate destination for the evening would be the town of Kenora, the gateway of northern Ontario. Welcome to Ontario, the final province of this journey. I will be in Kenora in about 30 minutes, but it's great to be this far east into Canada. Here at the Ontario Visitor Information Centre, which is closed due to of course, but I am crossing now into, I guess this would be the fourth province along my route. I am about, at this point, 1500 kilometers or almost a thousand miles from my home in Calgary. Believe it or not, I'm actually closer to home right now than I am to Toronto, Ontario. So this is an incredibly big province. So I should also mention that there are restrictions in effect in Ontario, uh, more specifically, not really in Ontario, but in Manitoba. So uh, the Manitoba government will not let me back into Manitoba if I travel further east than Terrace Bay, which is well past where I'm intending to go. So I'm in no danger of having to self-isolate or anything like that when I return to Manitoba, and I'll be allowed to continue my trip through the northwestern part of that province and back into Saskatchewan and ultimately back home to Alberta. If I had traveled about six or seven hours into Ontario and went past Terrace Bay, I would then have to isolate for 14 days upon returning to Manitoba. So you have to be very cautious to understand the local requirements and to make sure that you're abiding by them, uh, just to make your life a lot easier traveling in this very unpredictable time right now. And I guess it's worth mentioning that the Ontario speed limit is a mere 90 kilometers per hour, so very, very slow. I've made it here to ye old chip truck. They seem to not want to have the E anymore, so it's just the old chip truck now. I'm gonna go get a little bit of a snack here on the side of Highway 17. We'll see what they have over here. It is crazy busy. So they got a lot of variety of uh, vinegar, salt, condiments. I'm gonna go to the picnic table and enjoy these. Ready to bite into my first taste of the ye old chip truck french fries. This serving cost me $6.75 Canadian, so just about $5 US. They look delicious. After a very easy two-hour drive from Winnipeg, I have arrived in Kenora, Ontario, the heart of the Lake of the Woods region, which is one of Canada's greatest natural treasures in this country. So I can't wait to spend a little bit of time here in Kenora before heading back to Manitoba. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the country. There she is, Lake of the Woods. Well, I've made it here to the beautiful Lake of the Woods, Ontario slash Minnesota. It is an absolutely beautiful summer evening right now. It's about 6.30 p.m. The sun is glistening off the water. It is absolutely gorgeous out here.
flowers all over Kenora. It's definitely a lovely, lovely little city. As you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous little town. So like I said before, this is without a doubt one of the most beautiful towns in all of Canada. Right on the shores of Lake of the Woods, which extends all the way down into the United States, state of Minnesota. Beautiful location. Beautiful, beautiful skyline. This is Husky the Muskie, the symbol of Kenora, kind of an homage to the Lake of the Woods. The lakefront is just spectacular here. Such a beautiful city and the perfect time of year to come too.